Hello, I'm Brian, and welcome to another episode of Wisdom to Director's Cut.、Uh, so, in the last episode, we have recruited Takayuki、uh, from the Level Up Mind.、Uh, he is a level 14、uh, blade weapon user,、uh, very powerful indeed.、Uh, we have overcome some of the Uh, worst enemies in the game are the honey badgers. <laughs> I even、uh, I've even seen someone、uh, complaining about the difficulty of dealing with those beasts as well. I think we went in a little bit、uh, underleveled, but、uh, things actually did go well.、Uh, we end up having to use a、uh, rocket launcher on the the largest bunch of、uh, honey badgers, but、uh, things work fine. So it seems everything's okay.、Uh, in this episode, we are going to.、Uh, now you can see here、uh, we have、uh, dealt with the infected farm that has the uh, 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 that has the mutants uh, around. Uh, I think there will be also two more spots where we can go in and take care of them as well. And also.、Uh, We haven't dealt with the Wrecking Crew stronghold as well, so I will be seeing if this,、uh, in this episode or in the next,、uh, we will be dealing with all three of these, um, these uh, locations, and then go back to Ranger Citadel to drop、uh, Takayuki、uh, in the Citadel before we head to the Real Nomads camp. So that's basically the idea. All right, let's move out. All right, just a second. Okay. All right, let's move out. <laughs> Uh, taking care of the mutants、uh, attacking the farm should not. Ranger Team Echo, this is Ranger Citadel. Come in.、Oh, Go ahead. Ten four Echo One. Got a call from the mushroom farmers over at Shitaki Farms. Another report of crazy plant growth. They grow their crops in an old water pumping station over there, and it seems that the plants have turned it into a hellhole. Be advised, a lot of the folks over there are in the late stages of the infection. You copy? Copy. Ten four Echo One, sending you the coordinates now. Take care of yourself over there, Ranger Citadel out. Oh, okay. Able、uh, One to Citadel Base. Go ahead, Able One. Ten four Citadel Base. Intercepted radar transmission. Jerks are about to jump somebody. We're moving in. Copy, Able One. What's your twenty? Two clicks east southeast of Corn Silo. Got it. You need backup? Negative. Punks won't know what hit 'em. Don't get cocky, Able One. Advise when complete. Will do, Citadel Base. Able One out. All right, so let's head to this pump station. I think this is、uh, by far the most difficult、uh, of the three locations we have to deal with the mutants. So yeah. All right, let's see. I think、Able、I will. Able One to Citadel Base.、Ooh. Go ahead, Evil One. Call complete. Ten four. Raiders neutralized. No major damage on our side. Resuming patrol. Ten four, Evil One. Carry on. Roger, Citadel Base. Evil One out. Yeah. Again,、uh, these radio chatters are kind of just the backstory. Uh, uh, there is no way you can interact with them, and、uh, yeah, there is not much you can do. Even if they are in some sort of trouble, you never know what where they are. <laughs> so there is that. Okay.、Uh, more stuff, I guess. All right. Let's move in. I think I will have.、Uh... Science has its place, but this is science gone wrong. I think we'll. Yep. That's it. Oh no! What's happening?、Oh! Whack. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> All right, it's just the one, right? All right, let's crouch and take the hit. All right, forty. I'm glad I actually、uh, managed to get the the M M twenty four. Yeah, it has been a lot of help in in combat. It's just so so important a part of my uh. My arsenal now. All right. Oh, back up, back up, back up a little bit. All right. All right. Let's see. Who? 
this is not good. This is not cool at all. Alright, let's see if we can uh, set up properly before we uh, try to engage them. Do we have no site block? Uh, they're not moving. They're not moving. <laughs> well, uh, well, in that case, I think uh, it's hard to do a sniper pool now because uh, it's a really tight corner, but. Uh, what can I do now? Alright, let's see. Grenade, no. TNT. Yep. Uh, so this is one of the other use with a... Uh, with a bomb. You don't have to hit your enemy. I think the sound will draw them in. Yep. That's what I'm looking for. And then... Open fire! What happened? Is it a critical hit? Yeah, I think it is. That was impressive. That Come was... and get it, candy ass. Well, <laughs> that's easy. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Let's see. All right, lock pick. Yeah, I was thinking maybe uh, it might be uh, a tougher call than that, but enough. It's not all that bad. Anything else around that we can... Oh, okay. Oh my god, laser carbine. And an energy cell. Alright. Uh, we'll give it to our commander there. Uh, let's see. Is it better than the herbicide? I don't know. Uh, 8 to 12 damage x3. Uh, 17 range, so it has a. Uh, the laser carbine has a long, a little longer range than compared to the herbicide. Uh, all right, let's see. Just the six AP for a burst shot of three, five damage per AP. A little bit higher than that of the herbicide. I think I'll keep it. Uh, it may be useful in the future. I think that this is actually a, a weapon that that uh, is randomly generated. I don't remember I have gotten uh, any of those kind of weapons before. So yeah, it may be a, uh, a random one. All right, let's head up. I think it is the largest bunch of four. All right, let's see. Uh, they're here. I think there are some over here as well. Yep. Okay. Again, let's uh, set up properly. <laughs> I don't wanna... get caught off guard. There is one here as well. Now I question my choice. I might be able to just go from... Uh, in the front here but maybe not <laughs> alright let's spread up a little bit try not to uh, get into each other's line of fire which is kind of uh, uncool I have uh, already done a lot of friendly shots so yeah I would I would like to try to avoid that <laughs>
Alright, I think this should be fine. A little bit more forward. Okay. Open shot on you, I guess. Alright, 30 more damage. Nothing too fancy. Uh, Alright. I suppose one more to get you killed. Others, I'll just uh, skip the turn for the moment. Some people have uh, left comment on like a, a Steam or set uh, set in a review that uh, this game doesn't have like the the delay turn button, which is stupid. Uh, I think uh, there are some some misconceptions over this because. Uh, the system they try to use here is that they want you to save up certain AP. They don't want to be, you know, like doing the DOS kind of thing where they, uh... All right, let's see. Uh, they, they want to allow you to delay your turn. Oh, come on, 95%? That really is 95%? Okay. All right, let's see if we can burst him down. Nope, not yet. Uh, good shot. Perfect. Uh, save up AP. Yeah, because if you can uh, uh, actually delay your turn in, in this game, uh, it would be real unbalanced. Not enough AP. Uh, free in my chamber too. Reload for six. I suppose we can reload always. Let's hope they won't get too close to us. Not too close to us. Uh, they are right on top of us. Oh god. Well. That's a bit of a problem, right? Uh. Oh. I break the box. Alright, let's see. How much damage I can do to a... That is not very impressive. Get out of here! <laughs> no, that's not what I want to do. No. Okay. Alright. Uh, oh man. 67 cent, eh? Uh, shoot the hand. Well, that's a lucky shot, actually. Well, the next turn is uh, going to be him, so I guess I'll just have to take this swing, see if I can kill him in a hit. Alright, we did it. Uh, bad thing that we destroyed the box. Uh, I think there are some sort of uh, ammo inside, but yeah. I think it can't be uh, avoided. Which is unfortunate, but yeah. Again, what I'm saying is, uh, if you think that this game will benefit from uh, getting a a delay turn button, you might be mighty wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, because the game would be very imbalanced because uh, the. Uh, the game as it is right now greatly favors the combat initiative already. Uh, people think that a CI is the key stats or the king stats of all. Uh, I would argue that it is not and because there is no delay button. So uh, effective use of your or efficient use of your AP uh, becomes something that you should uh, actively consider instead of you can just delay your turn and then you take double turns uh, at a later time so that's my point that's my take on it hey there is an oasis that's uh... a looks like we got some water thieves out near homestead following tracks Copy, Baker One. Keep your eyes up. Advise when complete. 
Rogers, Citadel base. Baker one out. Ranger Team Echo, this is Ranger Citadel. Come in. Over. Go ahead. 10 4 Echo 1. We got another report of crazy plant growth. This time it seems to have taken over all of Knottsburg. Inhabitants are barricading themselves into the jail, but they don't know how long they can hold out. Get over there pronto. You copy? Copy. 10 4 Echo 1. Sending you the coordinates now. Ranger Citadel out. Yep, so basically if you run over that place then you get the core and then you just go in and take care of the stuff <laughs> That's how it is This one is also not uh... Another man-made menace. We've got to kill it Baker 1 to Citadel Bay <laughs> Go ahead Baker 1. You complete on those water thieves? Well, yes and no. Damn fools caught wind of us and ran into the hot zone. No point going after them. They'll be dead and the water will be contaminated. Problem took care of itself, Baker One. Walk away. Our thoughts exactly, Citadel Base. Alright, need more firepower to kill crazy incest. Uh, the password is Mayberry, yeah. Okay, so let's take the medical supply first. Now, uh, because we got the password, uh, the, the safe is way back here. So we need to take care of the of the mutants first. Let's see. I think there are two bunches of them as well. Uh, yep, they're here all right. <laughs> all right, we'll take care of this bunch first. Um, melee combatants can stay in the back first because then <laughs> of not, not a lot of use. Alright, Angela Death here. Again, setting up this kind of fire line is very important, I think. Uh, making sure that. Well, where, they, where are they? There. Okay, stick the shot. 74% uh, enemies, sure. <laughs> Could not be helped. How about an 80%? Perfect. I think they are going to come charging around. So, yep. It should not be a problem. It is for us. No. No, not like this. Maybe we should put more points into uh, leadership. Oh, there's a lot of them as well. Uh, no, not enough to kill them, but all right, one down. Uh, all right, let's see. Kill this one. Should oh, ouch! <laughs> I keep shooting our own guys, Jesus. Alright, and... Alright, come back, Takayuki, come back. You get back here. You little son of a... <laughs> Alright. Alright, ending is painful metamorphosis. Alright. Alright, 90% and uh, enemies. I'm not sure what I can make of that, but... Okay. Ouch! That that was a painful hit. Oh god. Yeah, that was stupid of me. What am I thinking? It's just <laughs> uh, I knew it. I knew I I caught him in the in the middle, but. Yeah, sometimes that just can't be helped. 
Alright, there is another bunch down there, but we're going to loot this box first. Alright, now let's get over there. Uh. I think we can do it this way. Uh, try to shoot them from here. Uh, they are going to have a tough time trying to come up, so to speak. So let's give this a try. All right, 100%. Perfect. Now you can see how powerful it is. Uh, because we have the elevation, uh, the hit chance is really good against them. Oh, this will be a shooting gallery now. Yeah, it's not easy to hit us, right? However, we're not getting a very good uh, shooting angle. Alright, let's see if I can relocate myself here. Alright, another is going to come up, which is not a problem. We have some melee combatants which can take care of them with ease. At least that's my hope. <laughs> Alright. Alright, crouch. Not enough AP, we pass. Out of range. Out of range, eh? Okay, then get into the cover. Alright, they're coming up. They're coming up. We need to be smart about this. Alright, adios, jump. Uh, I'm not sure what that means, but okay. Not enough. Not quite enough. This will do the trick. Perfect. Alright, how about you take care of this fly as well? Okay, because without the... The Milton man there, uh, we can free to engage in uh, melee combat, I guess? Alright, let's shoot these flies down. Okay, one down, one to go. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Uh, take care of them without actually taking a lot of damage. It's always nice. Let's check around. Oh, really? No drop? Okay. I suppose. Yes. Alright, this should do the trick. Now, uh, yeah, this should mean that uh, we have completely uh, fixed up all the, all the places. Alright, if I can lockpick it, I will lockpick it. <laughs> yeah, this should uh, be the last places for the X Center outburst. Alright, lockpick again. Come on. Why all the sap close? <laughs> this is really embarrassing now. Come on, RNG, are you uh, kidding me? Alright, this one. Uh, we can always use try to use a uh, uh, safe cracking, but I don't want to uh, break the lock, so instead I'll just enter the combination that uh, the sheriff have gave the us. I think it's this one. Yes. Ah, Saber Rocket again. Perfect. Uh, Takayuki can have the bombs. Not that he's going to. Oh my goodness! Finally, Brass Knuckles. That actually means my uh, my brawler is going to do at least some damage against enemies now. <laughs> it's horrible. Ah, this was so long. God, what what are what's with these sap gloves? 
<laughs> We've got it for like a couple of times now. I, I'm not even sure why. <laughs> how this happens, but... Alright. Okay. Alright. Ah, oh, there are some more bullets to loot. Sure. Alright, distribute all... Alright, we should also call in the... Copy, Echo One. The level of Echo first. Alright, so some of our team uh, members have hit uh, level 10, so they get another attribute points as well. So I think I'll be uh, distributing those points right now. Alright, let's see. Uh, character. Alright, run attribute points available. Uh, so the Baker all... Baker 1 to Citadel Base, come in. Baker 1, I can barely read you. What's the situation? Caught a break. Citizen saw Esteban Negro in the bar down here and more. We're gonna take him. Careful, Baker 1. That hombre has taken out entire patrols all by himself. Copy, Citadel Base. Don't worry. We gotta... Baker 1, come in, Baker 1. I lost you. Baker 1, do you read me? Ah, oh, hell. Yep. Alright. Uh, so, for all the uh, custom-made characters, uh, these four, uh, every single point of attribution uh, goes to awareness to uh, further increase their combat initiative. So you can see here, combat initiative of 17, that's crazy. Alright, uh, combat initiative 15, that sounds good as well. Uh, for my leader, a little bit slower, but still. Uh, combat initiative for 13. Uh, Angela Death actually gets a point as well, but... Uh, anything I should be putting in? Uh, awareness, I guess. <laughs> Alright, uh, for Fulcher's Cry, not yet, not yet. Not quite there yet. Uh, nine, level 9. Okay. Let's see if we should uh, distribute some points as well. 7 points. We'll hold on to it. 11 points, eh? Uh, unfortunately, we, we, I think we are going to hold on to it as well. Uh, do we have the perk point? We do. We do that too. Uh, suppose... Do we have the jacket for him? No. Yeah, I still want it on the captain. I don't I don't want the... The leather jacket on him just yet. Because, yeah. Uh, he, she is... Uh, our captain is the... Is the... Melee combatant here. She'll need some armor. Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, in that case, I suppose I can always just, uh, give, uh, my captain some AP just by doing this. Yeah, you can see here we put, uh, two points into, uh, weaponsmithing, and then, uh, we put a point into, a perk point into Tinkerer. Now, uh, because she already has the, uh, light armor, uh, she'll get a plus one action points that further raises the action points to 10 now uh, This is this also works with our sniper as well. So you can see here uh, Action points of 12 you real now realize that my sniper can uh, take two shots uh, sometimes at certain turns uh, So it is very important All right, let's uh, fill up our canteens first and then we are heading to the stronghold Uh, dangerous raiders, get away. <laughs> get out! Nothing can stop us now. <laughs> Alright.
Okay. Baker one to Citadel Bay. Baker one, you're back. Everything all right? Did you take Esteban Negro? Yep. No problem. Bought him drinks till he fell over. Uh, good job. Any casualties? Well, we're all fine now, but. But what? But tomorrow morning's gonna be a bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you got the collar, Baker one. Citadel base out. Okay. Now, uh, I think there are two sharpshooters here, yes. And then we have a gunner here, uh, we have a basher here, which should not be much of a problem, another gunner here. Uh, Alright, so you can see here, uh, the one with the highest uh, vintage point is the, the most uh, dangerous opponent we can have. And that's why we are going to take care of that right away. So what we are going to do here is uh, our other team members will uh, will go from the front. Uh, our sni my sniper here is going to take point here, I guess. Uh, I would hope that she won't get spotted. And we wearing are... tin hats in the desert. No wonder their brains are fried. Alright, let's take a shot. Come on. 74%, eh? 74%. Alright, at least that took care of him. No. Not like this. Okay. Uh. Alright, well, charge in then, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, melee combatant, stay out of sight. Well, let's try to, I suppose. My, uh... My leader as well, she's not gonna do much. Ouch. Okay, my uh, enemy sniper in position. We need to take care of him now. Ah, there is another gunner up uphill. Uh, in that case, uh, Takayuki can. Well, I suppose Takayuki can always uh go with my brawler here to tangle with these two. It's kind of. Dangerous actually. Uh, there is a basher here as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Oof. It's gonna be a pain. Again, uh, Sniper has to be dealt with first. We can't deal with him, uh, deal with him right now. I wonder who he can shoot at at this, at this point. Sight block. Well, <laughs> okay. Uh, noble salvage. Sure, I guess. <laughs> I mean, if you say so. All right. Is it safe to try and? All right. I just set ambush, try to see if this can, if this do the trick. All right, let's see. Nope, not enough. Too dangerous to try and uh, go in to take the basher here. Uh, enemy combatant is likely to be very Alright, let's see if I can uh, get them with a rocket. Seems cool. <laughs> yeah, you'll be seeing a lot of uh, liberal use of uh, of the rocket launchers uh, in this playthrough. I'm not ashamed to use them. <laughs> Yikes. 
But the sniper can actually guard us. Huh. Okay, that would be a problem. That is a problem. E yikes. Uh, in that case, we relocate, I guess. Oh my god, we need to relocate through two turns? Fun times. Alright, gunner. Another gunner is around here somewhere, yeah. Alright, now let's move forward a little bit. Try not to be too exposed. Uh, again, ambush shot. Yeah, we are at the mercy of the gunner up top, but that couldn't really be helped, I suppose. Uh, huh, lose my brawler in? <laughs> that seems like a good idea, actually. Ouch! That hurts. Alright, let's see if Fouchers cry. What can Fouchers cry do? Not much. Yeah, with a low AP, that's not oof. Yeah, close range, uh, trying to fire a sniper rifle doesn't re isn't really the best way to deal with uh, the combatant. The correct way is to run away then take the shot, but yeah, I suppose the AI sometimes do some <laughs> very strange uh, behaviors. Uh, I can see that the... Uh, oh, uh, the... Uh, the Brittle Pong's perk is really hurting us now. But my brawler is uh, going on a frenzy. Alright. Uh... <laughs> Lost control again. Okay. Sure. Uh... Yeah, there is no good way to try to run up there. Just pass. Okay, let's go in. Finish him. Nope. Let's try again. Yeah, the twitchy perk is uh, a bit of a problem sometimes. Uh, it hurts the hit chance too much. But this should take care of it. Excellent! All right, everyone reload. Whoo! Yep, and that's the last of the wrecking crew, uh, wrecking stronghold or some such. What rust bucket? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I suppose. Uh, let's see if the basher drops something good. Nope. Maybe not. I thought they might uh, actually drop a weapon or something. Let's see if the sharpshooter actually gives us something. M40. Is it better than the, the one uh, Vulture's Cry is using? No. Obviously not. Okay. I guess. Alright, some boxes we can loot. Uh, more... <laughs> more more uh, stuff that we simply cannot use. Alright, more junk to sell, I guess. It's always okay. Alright, let's see what you have on you. Uh, more bullets. Okay, more M40. It's kind of a moat point. Forty-two dollars. What what can we strip it for? Sturdy mag or underbarrel flashlight? Let's give it a try. Why 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 would I think it is a? Uh, <laughs> it will end in a different outcome. Hey, look at that! At least we got another sturdy mag as well. I think a Fortress Christ uh, G forty-three W can benefit from this. All right, attach mod. Yep. So that way, uh, so you can see here, uh, 
A Vulture's Cry, 0% chance to jam. Uh, Angel Left, 0% chance to jam. Uh, Energy, 0% chance to jam. Uh, M16, 0% chance to jam. Uh, M24, 0% chance to jam as well. So it completely eliminates any and every single problem that it could uh, uh, it could be in a... Alright, Takayuki. Can work on a TNT, but the lockpick is a bit of a problem. Yeah, we have completely eliminated any chances of jamming uh, in the future, so that's always good. Uh, save crack. See if this gives us a more reasonable success chance. It does, but 10% critical failure. Let's hope it won't. We can always uh, mechanical repair to try it once more if it really critically fails, but I would want to... Okay. <laughs> what am I thinking? Oh, uh, umbrella. Uh, plus 20 max uh, water carry weight. Sure, I guess. Who should I put that on, actually? Uh... Huh. Angela death maybe? Yeah. Seems fine. Alright, let's move on. Alright, now there is an other skill statue here that we are not going to interact with just yet uh, because we do not want to uh, waste the skill points here. Uh, we have an other uh, companions we really wanted to recruit before we start uh, clicking around these get, uh, skill statues. Okay, uh, let's take up the last mount. Now, with the uh, Wrecking Crew Stronghold uh, completely uh, taken off operation, uh, we can return to High Pool. I think uh, talking to K Do they really think weighing themselves down with all that crap is helping? Yeah, they do. And they have high armor. And they block our shots. Try shooting them with a handgun, Angela. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's go back to high pool. Uh, and then talk to K Preston. I think uh, this will give us a little bit more uh, experience because we uh, returned the quest to her. Or maybe Sean Bergen. I don't know which. All right. Uh, there should be a... Uh... Charlie One to Citadel Base. Go ahead, Charlie One. Still on those dealers? 10-4, Citadel Base. Followed them to a trailer park in the middle of nowhere. Looks like a lab. Copy, Charlie One. Let me know if you need backup. Negative. Only a few people. Oh. Shit, shit, Back to the rock. Back to the. Charlie One, come in. Charlie One. Damn it. Citadel Base calling all teams. Anyone in the vicinity of Red Lake Sands, Rangers, need assistance ASAP. Charlie One, this is Citadel Base. If you can hear me, I'm calling for assistance and will send help to you if I find it. Call in when it's safe to do so and advise on your situation. Citadel base out. Uh, now, this, this, this is not a, uh, uh, a place where you can go, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. It's basically just backstory. <laughs> you can't uh, do anything about them. All right, let's see if I should talk to Sean Bergen. Wrecking crew wrecked, an irrigation system fixed. That's what I call doing the job right. Thank you, Rangers. We'll be calling the Citadel from now on. Well, good. Yeah, that's that's how we uh, <laughs> return the quest. That's... All right, let's see. Find a way to reach the Manta, uh, Aces Lockbook, help Dr. Tideman. Okay, sure. Let's head out. Okay, uh, let's see. 
Alright, let's head back to the uh, Citadel first, I think. Yeah, there isn't much we are going to take care of, I think. Alright, uh, recharge canteen, and then... Charlie One to Citadel Base. Damn good to hear your voice, Charlie One. What's your status? No one dead, amazingly enough. Mess heads couldn't shoot for shit. But I got three wounded, one critical. <laughs> Heading for Red Leg, gonna see their doc. 10-4, Charlie One. Call it location and stay safe. Roger, Citadel Base. Charlie One out. Yep. Right, let's head in. Let's see how much uh, scrape we actually have right now and see if we can spend some to uh, further uh, improve our loadout. Uh, I think uh, uh, Vulture's Cry can, can use an, an upgrade. Uh, because I, I don't think there is uh, a lot we can do about the G43 upgrade, but I still think that if we can uh, spend some scrape to to upgrade it, Charlie it will one, be nice. Go ahead, Charlie One. You make Red Leg? Roger, Citadel Base. But uh, Doyle didn't make it. He bled out. 10, 10 4, Charlie One. Bring him home. I'll let his people know. Copy Citadel Base. On our way. Yep. Uh, yeah. People down. Alright, let's see. Uh, any weapons we can break down? I don't think so. Uh, in that case, well. Sell junk. Alright, sell so junk. Alright, a thousand and four hundred scrape. That's not a lot, but uh, we do what we can. We do what we can. Uh, pipe bomb. Uh, not really needed. I don't think. Uh, too much Akita figure. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, sell all that is not needed. We don't have a shotgun user. I, I don't... Yeah, I, I can't get myself to try a shotgun user, to be honest. <laughs> That's just not very good. Uh, maybe that good? I'm not sure. Alright, sell these broken weapon parts. Uh, anything else? Yeah, this 762 ammo, uh, we're not gonna use them right away. Uh, there is no point keeping them around, so I'll just sell them. But let's see if we can upgrade the sniper rifle in any single way. No! Alright, let's check. Vulture's Cry. Uh, this is a uh, bullpup sniper rifle. Uh, 44 to 58 damage, 71% chance, uh, hit chance, S uh, a little shorter range than the G43, uh, one extra armor penetration, and the damage is a little higher as well, 6 AP per shot. Uh, but we have to spend uh, 400 on this, on this little thing. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, anything else? I don't suppose so. Uh, we don't need the farmers. We can always use the farmers, but... Yeah, we don't have two uh, assault rifle user. I, I mean, Angela Death is one, but... Eh. No, it's not worth it. It's three hundred and seventy dollars. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Uh, crowbar, we don't need right now. No, there isn't not a lot we can do about this right now. So yeah, okay. 
Damn, look at that guy's guns. I could still take him though. <laughs> Uh, Takayuki is very aggressive for I don't know what reason. Alright, let's get some ammo actually. I forgot to re restock the ammo. Alright, I guess 30 will do. Uh, Alright. Uh, do we want to restock this assault rifle ammo? Yeah, I think we do. Just a little. Doesn't have to be a lot, but it's a little. Yeah, I'm glad I actually get to upgrade my brawler's weapons. That should work. Your cook needs to stop eating his own cooking. A real warrior doesn't let himself go like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, we found a possible recruit in Takayuki. Uh, we want to get some merit. Perfect. Okay, now I would be setting uh, Takayuki here for the moment. There's a lot of grenades throwing around. Alright, dismiss. Yeah, so to uh, sort of free up my uh, team's spot, because I know I'm going to get a couple of uh, recruits back in the Real Nomads camp as well, uh, which is what I'm uh, where I'm planning to go next. Uh, let's visit uh, TNT Ten as well. Uh, we got some some of those pook. Uh, all right, all right. Let's just skip all these. What? Uh. All right. Yeah, let's just sell the. Yeah, sell these. All right. Any more? Any more? I suppose not. Yep, yeah, sure. Okay, so we do have some scrape uh, lying around. The RPG is seven hundred dollars. Oh, that's <laughs> that's very expensive. Ooh, uh, the low rocket as well. Five hundred. That's not very. Oof. 500, eh? Several rocket, 300. Oof. Well, I'll hold on to it. I'll hold on to it. Any weapon where you can kill people without getting blood on your hands is a weapon of cowards. I mean, uh, Fortress Cry is using a sniper rifle. You can't get a blood on your hands unless you just <laughs> uh, point blank shoot someone with a sniper rifle and I know that's not how it works so yeah I'll just cry <laughs> that's not <laughs> no that's not nice uh, okay let's see alright for skill points I think I'll just put uh, leadership all the way to 5 Make sure that Angela Death and also Fulcher's Cry. Oh, still 5%. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Okay. Should be fine. Should be fine. <laughs> I hope it won't mess me up. Okay. Uh, so I'll be ending the video here. Uh, so I'm glad that we finally put the X Center and Haipu uh, to rest. Sort of. Uh, the, the storyline for them is complete. Uh, right now, we, we have two places to go. Uh, the first is the prison, and then the second is the um, uh, the Real Nomads camp. Uh, in the next episode, or in the next couple of episodes, I think we are going to the Real Nomads camp. Uh, we'll be uh, running a little bit back and forth between the Real Nomads camp and the Citadel because uh, there are actually free potential recruits and uh, I'm afraid that I have to bring them back to the Citadel one by one. Uh, the, how, the thing is, uh, because of this team is very uh, tightly packed and uh, designed, uh, at, at least skill-wise, so um, one of the thing is if you uh, dismiss like a Takayuki uh, after you talk to uh, Corporal uh, Evan, then and and get the merit and all the stuff like that. You kind of just register the Takayuki uh, onto the rooster, 
And so if you uh, dismiss Takayuki anywhere in the wasteland, uh, he will just be uh, sent back to the mess hall, uh, which is uh, where you find Corporal Evans. However, if you dismiss uh, Angela Death here, uh, she will never be... Uh, you can't find her anywhere anymore. Uh, you can't find her back in where she was. Uh, you can't find her in the mess hall as well. Um, of course, uh, it is for plot reasons, because uh, in the middle part of the game, uh, she will leave your team. So that's the big reveal. Uh, she will leave your team. However, if you dismiss her uh, before that point, you can't recruit her back into your team. So I, I need to make sure that uh, I can... Uh, I can have all the recruits with me. Uh, I, I, even if some of them are not going to be uh, leveled up anyway, uh, I would still love to keep them uh, in my company, so to speak. Uh, and I can't uh, try to uh, dismiss Angela Death to recruit a, a new uh, recruits. And uh, because we have like a uh, three possible recruits, uh, what, well, what I think I, I need to do is I need to recruit one. Uh, and then I run back to the Ranger Citadel to register him. And then I'll just dump him there. And then I'll go and recruit the second one. <laughs> and then I'll have to run back to the Citadel again. And I have to... Uh, well, for the third one, uh, because the third one is actually the one that I will keep around. Uh, so so there is that. Uh, however, there, there might be a little bit uh, running back and forth between the, the Nomad's Camp and the Citadel uh, in the next couple of episodes. But that is for... The next time yeah so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, it has been a lot of fun uh, going through the uh, hypo story again it on, on hindsight it really is a little bit less fun compared to that of the X Center uh, in the X Center you get the storyline you go to help people you met people that actually talks to you and then uh, you also get to uh, uncover the truth behind uh, the evil mastermind that uh, engineered all those stuff. Uh, but in the in the high pool, it's just like eh, go in, kill a bunch of stuff, and then uh, push a, bu a bunch of buttons, and then win the game. <laughs> it's kind of uh, anticlimactic in a way. Uh, however, I I, I know uh, be, be, because you you after you uh, finish the high pool, you still get to uh, kill. Uh, Dr. Larson there as well, uh, but it seems kind of irrelevant. You don't know what's happening. It's just a bunch of text that tells you, hey, this is a uh, an evil man, and then he just turns on you, and then and then just uh, shoots you in the back with the with his handgun. Uh, so yeah. Um, uh, so in in a way, uh, storyline wise, I would say uh, X Hunter excellent. Uh, Rose very good uh, 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 design the character uh, I mean at least background wise uh, she's not very good in in combat but then <laughs> not a lot of uh, uh, companions are very good in combat uh, Fudge's Cry is also fun uh, of course uh, but she has a very low combat initiative so that makes her kind of eh <laughs> in a way uh, so yeah I mean uh, but still, if this is your first playthrough, uh, I, I would suggest that you go to High Pool simply because it is a little bit more straightforward. You'll be uh, in a little bit less pain trying to learn this game. Uh, however, if you are trying to get some more challenges uh, or, or you want a more fun experience, yeah, then X Center is your pick. Alright, so I'll be ending the video here. In the next time, we are heading north. We go to the Rail Nomads Camp. And for now, uh, thank you for watching, I'm Brian, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Goodbye!